Good morning, everyone. How are you? Did you have a great weekend? Um, we're back. My name's Jenny. I'm here with another week at Family Art Club. I know this weekend the weather was so incredibly nice. Um, me and my little dog Ruby, we just sat outside all afternoon yesterday on our porch and it was just really, really nice. And I hope you you all had the chance to do that or something like that as well and spend some time outside yesterday. So today's activity is a really, really, really fun sensory art activity. We're gonna make DIY, we're gonna make fluffy, puffy paint. And this like puff paint is really special because unlike a lot of like shaving cream paint recipes it has the addition of some extra special ingredients that actually keep it puffy and fluffy even after it's dry um and so this is a really great activity for um littles and you guys can practice your measuring and there aren't a lot of ingredients and it's just so much fun so let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm gonna go over the ingredients that you're gonna need for this activity. I will put them in the description of this video as well, kind of type them out so that you can reference them. But for our fluffy puffy paint recipe, we are going to need shaving cream. You don't wanna use the gel kind, you just want to use the shaving, like the cream kind. You can use this brand or you can use generic. It really doesn't matter. This is just what we had. You're going to need white, plain old white school glue. A quarter cup of flour. I already measured this just to make my life a little easier this morning. And food coloring. I also have some water with me. I don't actually know if I will need it yet, but um, that just kind of helps us with consistency. So let's go ahead and get started. So I started with a quarter cup of the white school glue and I just kind of squirted it in here. And then we are going to add three quarters of a cup of shaving cream. And we're gonna add the cream and the glue together to start with. Um, so I'm going to, cause this one has awesome measurements for me. I know this is, you could do some fraction math here if I start with a quarter cup in it and I need to add three quarters of a cup to my mixture, how much should I fill, should I fill this line, fill this up with, with shaving cream? Yeah, we're gonna wanna make sure we fill it up to the one cup line. So that way we have one quarter cup plus three quarters of a cup and that will equal one cup. Let's see if I can figure out how to get this thing going. Oh, there's a lid. Cool. Monday morning. So this is the really fun part. I'm going to take a spoon and just kind of like push it down, fill the air hole, like the air bubbles to make sure I've got a cup and it looks like it's slightly over the one cup line but I'm not too worried I can already tell this is gonna be so much fun so then you're just gonna mix your glue and your shaving cream together And so what we're gonna do while I mix, this is super fun. It's great for kiddos. 
Um, it's a little messy, but everything's washable. It's really just kind of really great. So it's starting to feel, it kind of feels like once I measure my, um, I get my glue and my shaving cream going, it kind of feels like marshmallow cream. Like that's the consistency of it. Pretty cool. Oh, how awesome is this? I just want, I feel like I could just keep stirring this. It's so fun already. How cool. Okay, and so at this point, um, we are going to add flour a little bit of it at a time. Um, just, I have a quarter cup pre-measured, but I don't know if we're actually going to use that all. Um, it really depends on the humidity in your house and a bunch of other environmental factors as to what, how much exact like flour you need, but just kind of play it by ear as you're kind of stirring it together. Um, knowing that when this is all done, you're going to put it in like a baggie, um, or a squeeze bottle. So you still want it to be able to be like squeezed out but the flour will just help give it some rigidity um, so that when it actually dries, it stays three-dimensional. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit and see what happens. Oh, it's kind of tricky to mix together without making a mess. There we go. Oh yeah, so that makes it quite a bit thicker. I still think I won't have any trouble squeezing it out Depending on like the age of your kiddos, you could make it softer or stiffer, depending on like just their dexterity and their hand strength. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour just to see what happens. It might be that I add too much flour, in which case, if you add too much flour, you can add just a little bit of water, um, like a teaspoon at a time until you're back to the consistency that you like. You don't want to like rely on water though, because as you add water, it kind of dilutes the glue. And so it tends to spread more. So that's just like an easy way to save it. Okay, so now I look like it's, like I can imagine that if I was going to spread this out, ooh. Man, don't lick your fingers, even though it looks like marshmallow. I'm just gonna wipe it on my apron. Because even though it looks like marshmallow, it doesn't smell like marshmallow because of the shaving cream. So that kind of um, makes you a little less likely to want to taste it. So that's a saving grace. Okay, so I really like it super th stiff like this. And so we're going to try and see how that goes. And I think I'm gonna test with two colors. So once you have your white paint mixture, super puffy, fluffy, you've had a ton of fun stirring it and awesome. You can start, you can transfer it to either a squeeze bottle or I actually don't have squeeze bottles at my house. So I am using just like Ziploc baggies and 
I'm going to transfer a little bit into each one and then add some food coloring to give us our different colors for our paint. So I think I want maybe blue. I'm gonna leave that here. Got some blue food coloring. And I'm just going to drop a couple drops in here and see what color that becomes. And then when I'm ready to mix, and this is great for kids, you can zip it closed and then just mix with your hands. until it is combined. Looks like I have a lot of air in here, so I might want to, if I can squeeze out some of the air, it might help me mix it a little faster. And I can see that it's gonna be, at this point, with three drops of food coloring, this amount is a pretty light pale blue, so I'm gonna go ahead and, even though it's not completely mixed yet, add several more drops of food coloring just because I want you guys to really be able to see it when we squeeze it out. Okay, and so then I've got it pretty well mixed and I didn't make a huge batch, but I've got plenty down here in my cup. And you can always make double or triple batches of the overall recipe. You can see how, you know, it doesn't take very much, very long and it's pretty It doesn't take very long and it's fairly messy but it's all washable and it's just super fun for kiddos or really for anybody I'm having a blast okay so I'm gonna set this to the side I'm gonna pull out a piece of paper I'm using a pretty thick piece of paper um, just because depending on like you could really put this on anything you could put it on cardboard but it just depends on like how if you're planning on saving this as something that's more like for posterity or if you just want to have some sensory play so i'm going to take my scissors and I am going to make the tiniest, I'm gonna start by making the tiniest little hole here and cutting the corner off. I cut a very, very small amount, tiniest little piece. So then it gives me some, and then I can squeeze. Oh, how cool. Now, if you have a squeeze bottle, it'll already make like the ribbons that come out round. Because I cut this in a little baggie, it's kind of making it like a, like a more, it's flat on one side kind of, just because of the shape of the tip. I'm just doing like, honestly, you can draw pictures with this if you make a several different colors. Um, you can use it to draw a three-dimensional picture. You can see it's not going anywhere. It's pretty awesome. And if you, you can leave it some of it like that so it'll dry three-dimensional or you can take like a fork or I don't know if you have a palette knife or a spoon or anything like that and kind of 
have fun exploring the different textures that you can make. Um, if you use a paint, you could also use a paintbrush and it just makes this really kind of nice, super highly textured paint as well. So there's so many different things you can do. I would encourage, like, I would encourage you all to make a couple different colors and then see what you like. Um, you can use, yeah, if you want to make an abstract kind of picture or um, just kind of make something that's more realistic with the baggies, you actually get quite a bit of control. So it's super fun. All right, well, um, let me know how it goes and what you make. I am so excited. You can use the hashtag Family Art Club. You can put it in the comments or um, you can send it to us directly, whatever. Um, I hope you have a ton of fun making this puff paint. And oh yeah, one more thing. So this will dry pretty much like this. It'll dry hard thanks to the glue and the flour. So you can leave it to dry and come back and have fun kind of touching it afterwards to kind of do a comparison between the two. So I will see you all next week. I hope you have a fabulous week. It's Earth Day this week, so I hope you have some really special things to plan um, to be outside and enjoy um, our beautiful weather and the time that we get to spend outside right now. So I'll see you next week. Have a great one. Goodbye.